And to shed further light on uh, the current uh, uh, conference meetings that have been taking place in Paris and specifically that regarding the situation in Palestine in which uh, the three presidents of Egypt, France and uh, uh, Jordan took part of, we are uh, joined over the phone by Her Excellency Ambassador Mushira Khattab, former Minister of Family and uh, Population and a prominent diplomat. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Your Excellency. Thank you very much for having me. Now, uh, let's first by start by taking your opinion and your stance towards the decision that uh, uh, President Assisi took to allocate 500 million US dollars in the reconstruction process of Gaza uh, during its uh, humanitarian crisis due to the Israeli airstrike. Um, what does that uh, symbolize Egypt and the role that Egypt is playing in the Middle East region and specifically in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Well, at a, at a very hard time, like the time we're going through now, the uh, Egyptian initiative declared by President Abdel Fattah Sisi to offer $500 million for reconstruction uh, in uh, Gaza, and before that, his initiative to open the uh, uh, crossing. And the National Academy for Training has offered five scholarships for our Palestinian uh, brothers to have training at this. This reflects uh, true solidarity with the Palestinian people because what we are seeing right now is hypocrisy. Uh, if you follow what's happening in the world, you find some quarters are banging on our head with respect for human rights. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we see utter violation of human rights, not only the Palestinian people, but the Palestinian children. Hmm. The Israeli troops are killing Palestinian children and nobody, nobody is lifting a finger. So far, 59 children have died. We have not heard from the Human Rights Council in Geneva. We haven't heard from the Security Council in New York. We haven't heard from the European Parliament. We haven't heard from nobody. Where, mm. where, where, where is human rights from this? Mm. It's, it's hypocrisy. It's double standard. And I tell Egyptians, don't be offended when these people raise certain slogans in your face. We as Egyptians have to do the right thing for us mm -hmm. because this is what we want not because someone else is asking us to do what they think is good for us. Mm -hmm. Your Excellency, as you've correctly mentioned, because that was exactly what I wanted to ask you about, um, especially as you have had long experience in the um, Ministry of Population and, um, and uh, Family and Population in Egypt, and um, as you've correctly said, the children and the trauma and the uh, uh, dramatic uh, psychological changes that will be resulting um, as they grow up due to the circumstances of life and the dire humanitarian crisis that they live in. And mind you, the Palestinian children in specific have for ever lived in such crises um, time after time. Um, today, and as we are in a different era, as we as in Egypt and we as um, a decision maker and influencers in the region, um, what can be done, uh, the role of Egypt to pressure and push for further concrete actions to be taken by those international communities that are the same communities who always call for human rights and respect to human rights and, 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 and children. Um, what can be done to be able to support these children who are in dire need of help? Many, many things need to be done. Number one, we need to flag international human rights law. And we need to flag the, the, the responsibility of Israel, the occupying power, to respect international human rights law. And no exception. And we have, as an international community, to push to stop uh, uh, Israeli aggression against the Palestinian people. Uh, Gaza has been under siege for 14 years now. This is collective punishment for mm. the people of Gaza, mm. not for a government. It's collective punishment for the people of Gaza. Uh, it is time to end impunity for the crimes that take place in the occupied Arab territories. Uh, 
-hmm. the Human Rights Council in Geneva, Security Council, the High Commission for Human Rights, the governments of the so-called democratic countries, they must uh, uh, demonstrate that human rights is human rights for everybody. Mm -hmm. We have to respect human rights for everybody. It's time for international accountability of Israel for violating international law at the two levels, the political and the military level. Mm -hmm. And it's high time for the United Nations to bear its responsibility to provide shelter and immediate assistance for civilians who have been affected by the Israeli uh, uh, attacks on Gaza in order to provide a decent shelter mm -hmm. for this. And it's high time to stop the settlements. It is utter violence to evict people, peaceful people, from their homes in order for the settlers to build their own. I mean, this is despicable. And we have to, as a global community, we have to know that the time for colonial uh, policies is over. Mm -hmm. And we have to stop double standards when it comes to Israel. We have to insist on abiding by international law, both international humanitarian law and uh, United Nations uh, Absolutely. Conventions on Human Rights. Absolutely. Your Excellency, Ambassador Mushira Khattab, former uh, Minister of Family and Population and also prominent diplomat, thank you very much for joining us here on Cairo Local Time. And um, as part of a busy agenda and a uh, much of uh, discussions that have been taking place during the past couple of days in Paris um, during President Assisi's official uh, visit uh, to France, uh, President Assisi and the French President Emmanuel Macron had also uh, discussed the Ethiopia's dam file. Um, that happened at a meeting that took place at the LSA Palace in uh, Paris on Monday, where they had discussed um, also the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and means of uh, support and the role that France can play in mediating and um, holding ceasefire as well. Let's take a look at this report. President Abdel Fattah Sisi met with French President Emmanuel Macron.